everybody welcome back to my channel and happy new year well it's the 2nd of january today and i'm all snuggled up in this glorious oversized pj jacket thing that i got with my new pajamas and um i've taken the christmas tree down today and I've just been chilling out ever since then really and gorging my face on leftover festive food which I think we all need to do for the next week it's that time of the year when all I see all over my Instagram feed my Facebook feed pretty much everywhere is diets 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 and how much people are planning to lose, how much other brands and things could help me lose weight, how being on a diet should be the number one thing that I'm concerned about this year. And I call bullshit. I call bullshit. I am sick to death of companies telling me that my body and the way I look being plus size and disabled is not good enough it fucking is excuse my French but I'm really like this year is my my focus is to really stay on track with positive mental health and for my social media to be constantly at me about what other people perceive as perfection can just go and do one in fact i'm going to sit down later and probably unfollow a lot of people because we had a year of 2020 and let's face it the pandemic is not over yet we still have a long way to go thankfully there are vaccines now but as our whole Prime Minister and the health people said the other day, these are to lessen the effects of how ill people get. They're not necessarily stopping the spread of the pandemic or stopping you from actually getting COVID in the first place. So, you know, I think we've got bigger fish to fry and then eat them and enjoy them with chips and ketchup and bread and butter than to worry about eating carrots and celery constantly <laughs> to be quite honest with you i'm not saying don't be healthy please don't be at me saying oh you're just saying just get fat and that's fine that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is i'm good enough and i shouldn't have to open up my social media or turn on my tv and feel like i'm not good enough just because i weigh a different amount to you <laughs> i am good enough and it's it's those feelings of not feeling good enough that have made me suffer for years and years and made me feel like i wasn't good enough and made me feel like i shouldn't ever feel happy or sexy or attractive or like i belong and that's just not true that's just not true i'm sitting here now i'm around a size 20 clothes wise i'm disabled i'm constantly on medication i'm still suffering from after effects of covid do you know what i haven't got the energy to even think about my weight being a problem and focusing on a diet and exercise regime and i'm not going to do you know what i'm going to focus on taking one step at a time one day at a time and working on my happiness and if my happiness says do you know what let's eat some nice like fruit and veg main meals this week to feel a bit of goodness i'll do that and if my happiness is let's go out for some nice walks or maybe even get on the exercise bike i'll do that 
but I'm not doing it because I'm saying that who I am right now is not good enough. I'm doing it because I'm going to listen to my body and my mind and do what makes me feel happy this year. Now, this channel makes me feel happy. I, I love this. I, I'm not going to lie. I do find it difficult sometimes to come up with some ideas, but I kind of like these little chatty videos that I do. It feels like I get my feelings out there. Scott bought me a ukulele for Christmas and already I'm enjoying learning how to play it. It's fun. I got a Law of Attraction planner for Christmas, which I'm going to try and complete every day to focus on my positive thinking and my mental health. I have given myself a target this month to read a book because I don't remember the last time I finished a book. <laughs> and I got one for Christmas off my niece and I'm going to read it. And I got sent a book last year from a friend and I still haven't read it and it's regarding his depression journey and I really want to read it. So I'm going to try and read one or the other and um, which one I don't read this month I'll read next month but do you think that I'm going to rush out and buy food that doesn't give me any spark because I feel like I should be doing that because it's the start of January and I should be after a new me or if you think that I'm going to go and buy a load of lycra and start running around like a loon pushing my body to do things that my body can't do then you are a loon and I am going to enjoy January the only challenge I've given myself for this month and there's a benefit to me is I'm going to try the no spend January I'm going to try and not spend any money buying any new clothes or items unless they are absolutely necessary so obviously I'm going to pay my bills and pay for food and household cleaning products that kind of thing but I won't be buying any clothes I won't be buying any makeup I won't be buying anything for me but the benefit of that means that hopefully at the end of January when I get paid again from work I'll have some money left of January which I'm going to pay off some bills with win-win and the quicker I pay those bills the more money then goes into my travel savings money so it's all a benefit to me so I'm just on here to say you do you I'll do me I won't say anything about your life if you don't say anything about mine and let's be kind and live happily together happy new year glad to see you watching my vids Thank you very much for the support from last year and hopefully onwards this year. Hope you've hit the like button and subscribed and I'll see you next week. Lots of love.